To begin drawing my cube, I'm going to start with my basic front of my cube, which in this case is going to be pretty much a square. Then to create my cube to make it look more three-dimensional, I'm going to create another square that is slightly higher and a little further off to one side than the original cube. Now I'm going to connect the lines to make sure that my cube looks like it is actually three-dimensional. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to erase the inside lines because I no longer need them. And when I see the final product, it's not a see-through box, so I shouldn't see them. Using my handout, I'm going to focus on my light source. I know that the light is going to be mostly sitting on the top of my cube. So I'm going to place in a light value on the top of my cube, but I'm going to be careful not to have any outlining. As I was drawing, I realized that I did have some outlining, so I went back, erased those darker lines, drew in some edges that weren't going to be fuzzy, weren't going to be smeared looking, and fixed it up a little bit. When I move to the front of my box, I am placing in a little bit of a medium value. It's going to be a little bit darker than the light source was hitting on the top of the cube. I'm not getting as much light in this area. As I shade, once I get the value that I want, I'm going to clean up my edges and make sure that my cube has a crisp, clean difference between the background and the actual object. So I'm going to take time to kind of clean that up, smooth it out, fix any places where I don't feel like it looks like the value is efficient enough. So I'm just going to take some time, fix it up. Once I'm happy with this side, I'm going to move on to the far side of the cube. This is by far my darkest side. There is less light hitting this side than any of the other sides that are showing. So I'm going to map in this darker value, and I'm actually going to leave a little bit of a light at the very bottom edge of the cube, and you'll be able to see this as I add in the cast shadow. The reason that I do this is because what happens is when the, the shadow hits the surface, it actually reflects a little bit of light back up onto the cube. So when I go to draw my shadow, you're going to be able to see that little lighter gap that I left behind. When I draw in my shadow, my shadow is going to be even darker than the darkest side of my cube. However, as it gets further away from the object, it is going to get a little bit lighter and it might even get almost fuzzy around the edges. It doesn't have to be quite as crisp and clean as the original drawing on the cube itself. Then I'm going to erase to fix any of my corrections, see if there's anything that I need to touch up before I move on. And now I have a successfully finished cube.